I most definitely believe that Serena Williams will take the tournament by storm. She is playing phenomenally. Actually, last night, Victoria Azarenka said she's probably playing the best she's ever seen her play. So I have a really big feeling that she's going to come back. She's going to like take it by storm, and she's going to be back to her former glory. I'd be shocked if Serena doesn't win. I mean, she's like an immortal champion. She's played better and better with each passing round. I think this is the best she's looked since winning Wimbledon last year. You know, to beat Azarink in a quality match the way she did, I'd be shocked if she... It's her tournament to win. I'd be shocked if she doesn't win it. On the women's side, I, th I think, you know, I don't think you can really look past, past Serena. Obviously, she was, she was excellent yesterday. And just the power and her being back in New York as well, I just, um, yeah, just, you, I don't think you can really look, look too far away from her. The men's is always kind of tricky, but, you know, Novak Djokovic has been playing so well. But, you know, I have a feeling Roger might come in under it. I know he's kind of the dark horse, even though he's been one of the top players dominating. But I have a feeling he might come in and win this tournament like he's won so many times. Got to go with Djokovic, although, you know, you can't discount the top three. But I just think he's been clearly a level above everybody to this point in the year. And he hasn't shown signs of slowing down here. Well, we would love Andy Murray to win from a certainly British persuasion. Uh, I think that... You know, on form and, and, and what he's looking like at the moment, Djokovic still is, it remains the man to be, even though Rafa's, you know, he's going well, although not very, doesn't look very good at the moment. But um, I'd say Djokovic, but I'd like, obviously, would like Murray to do it as well. So.